Two American elm trees recently came down in a friend of mine's yard, so I went down there with the chainsaw and cut up some bulb links. Once all the pieces were moved into my garage, all the end grains got sealed up with an end grain sealer to prevent checking. Most of the pieces of wood got rough turned into bowls, and I made a video showing how I did that. But some of these pieces of wood were just too beautiful and just too large to rough turn, so I decided to core these. So this coring system is from One Way Manufacturing, and I'm not being paid to say that, that's just where it's from. And my wood turning club actually went in together on this and bought it for members of the club to use on open workshop days. So I signed up for this time and brought one of those big pieces of American Elm that I had to core. The coring system has a few different size knives for different depth of cuts. So I found the one that fit the outside bowl the best and started cutting. You want the lathe to be at a really low speed with really high torque to get a good cut with this. You don't want to press too hard, but you don't just want to rub either because then all you're doing is just dulling your tip. So yeah, we basically started on the outside first, when you're supposed to start on the inside that way you don't have to turn a new tenon on each individual bowl so you can continue coring. So after that we just changed out to a smaller knife and worked on the inside bowl. You also want to stop and clear your chips often. Once you have enough room you should always bring up your live center for stability. And there's number one. Hey, hey. Once the first bowl was complete, all we had to do was move the knife onto the next bowl's outer diameter. Once you feel that you're starting to get close to the bottom, you can try bending it to bust it out. Just make sure you bend with the grain. And that's it for the second bowl. On to the third.